New analysis has revealed what is actually going on in China. And it's astonishing because you'd think, right, that rooftop solar in China, you've been to China, everyone lives in apartments. No one's even got rooftop solar. But somehow, China has smashed through records for rooftop solar. And these numbers are truly shocking. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. It's great to have you with us. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. I'd love to see you at the EV Auto Show, the Melbourne EV Auto Show. I'll put a link in the description so you can get a discount on the tickets, and that will be just below. A new analysis has revealed that China installed an astonishing 36 gigawatts of rooftop solar in their first quarter of 2025. That's a new record as the country is racing to meet new policy deadlines. Basically, China has installed 36 gigawatts in the first three months of the year. I mean, those numbers are insane. Reneweconomy.com.au says that an analysis by Ristart Energy says the 36 gigawatts of rooftop solar is the highest for any quarter ever in China and could be trumped in the second quarter by a further 94 gigawatts on new installations on not only businesses, but also homes. Including large-scale solar, China installed 60 gigawatts of new capacity in the first quarter of the year, a record for the first quarter, but it is the anticipated 130 gigawatts of new distributed PV capacity, which is meant to come for the first half of the year, that is the biggest talking point. That 130 gigawatts is astronomical. Reistad says the surge in rooftop solar PV installations is being driven largely by new policy guidelines and pricing, solar's never been cheaper, that are aimed at encouraging self-consumption of solar projects in an effort to ease grid congestion issues, improve grid stability, reduce reliance on centralized power systems, and get rid of coal. The Chinese government doesn't like coal. They want to get rid of coal power plants. They pollute. It's not good for the, the health of their citizens. It causes health problems that cost the company billions of dollars. Reistad Energy says that the surge in rooftop solar capacity comes with restrictions to encourage self-consumption. For instance, large-scale CNI projects measuring above 6 megawatts will now be required to fully utilize power generation and will no longer be able to sell power to the grid. While these new guidelines are pushing China forward, they're having a dual impact on the CNI sector that typically has limited or no grid connection, said Yikong Zhu, Vice President of Renewables and Power Research at Ristead Energy. On one hand, increased self-consumption in CNI rooftop PV projects is easing grid connection challenges and helping ease grid congestion across the country. The rules are also helping to accelerate progress in carbon trading and green certificate markets with storage installations expected to rise. However, the added complexity in purchase agreements may introduce new uncertainty and weigh on project economics, which could dissuade developers. But at this point in time, the predictions are crazy. Reistad says they expect 2025 to set a new record for large-scale solar with 167 gigawatts of new utility-scale projects expected to be installed by the end of the year. Now, looking at this chart from Reistad, I mean, it's so ridiculous. I don't know whether or not they think it should be taken seriously. Because here's the thing. Solar, they're saying, will increase. Pretty significantly, solar will increase in China this year. However, they're saying that the following years, it's going to go down. Why? I mean, every year, solar is getting cheaper and cheaper. It's the cheapest source of energy in the world. And not only is solar getting cheaper, the panels now are getting these crazy 30-year warranties. I mean, crazy good. 30-year warranties. And they're also putting out more power. They're more efficient. You know, they're going from 20% 20, 20 efficiency to 21, to 22, to 23, to 24. And now the newest panels from Longy, and I believe other companies are working on it, work in the shade. Not only, not only do they work in the shade, but when half the panel is shaded, the other half works at a, pretty much 100% efficiency. So panels are getting not just a little bit better every year, but quite a lot better. And the price is going down. So I suspect it's a high probability that within 10 years time from now, 
you'd have to be absolutely ballistic in 90% of the world, which lives on the Sun Belt, to install anything except solar and batteries. China's efforts to continually ramp up the installation of new clean energy technologies like solar is starting to have a measurable impact on its carbon dioxide emissions. China has a target of peaking its CO2 emissions by 2030 and achieving carbon neutrality by 2060, but China has already hit that target. It's hit it five years early. According to a new analysis by Carbon Brief, China's CO2 emissions fell by 1.6% over the past 12 months. So it looks like a combination of solar, wind, batteries, and electric cars is driving emissions, CO2 emissions down in China. And that will continue every year as adoption of EVs uh, really replaces internal combustion cars on the roads. And as we see more of these aging coal power plants be retired. We always talk about the new coal power plants being added in China, and there are some being added, but the truth is renewables far outpaces them. And the other truth is that a lot of coal power plants are actually being shut down because they're old and they're inefficient. Lead analyst at the Center of Research for Energy and Clean Air and senior fellow at Asia Society Policy Institute said this is the first time emissions have fallen despite rapid demand growth for electricity. That's the crazy thing. Emissions didn't really fall by 1.6% in a vacuum because demand for electricity went up enormously. The Institute says that electricity supply from new wind, solar, and a very small amount of nuclear capacity was enough to cut coal power output even as demand surged, whereas previous falls were due to weak growth. So from this point on, it's very likely that China's emissions, their CO2 emissions in particular, will actually fall every single year. This is a direct consequence of renewable energy and electric cars. And I think this is a big positive. We should be talking about this story. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments. Bye-bye. Michelle Lewis has just reported that the world's largest solar farm has just come online. It's actually in China. Now, I want to point out, guys, some of the biggest solar farms in the world have actually just come online in a number of countries, in particular, though, in the United States, where some of the biggest solar farms you can possibly imagine, I mean, literally, go to these solar farms, you can't see anything except solar panels. Look around you for miles. It's just solar everywhere covering these fields now by the way you can actually have um, farm animals on these fields as well these solar panels actually essentially act as shade for farm animals however the world's largest solar farm how big is it actually well it's insane hello my friends welcome to the channel i'm sam evans you're watching the electric viking great to see you the iea has just said that it's very likely 